Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the remainder operator in JavaScript. So essentially, as the name suggests, the remainder operator allows you to find the remainder of a division of two numbers. So for example, let's find the remainder of 15 divided by 7. Let's make a new constant and call this one remainder. This will be equal to the result of the remainder operator. Let's say 15, then a single percent sign, and then 7. So that right there is the remainder operator. And this whole thing will give us the remainder of 15 divided by 7. In this case here, this will be equal to 2 remainder 1. So 1 will be stored in remainder. If I was to console.log, remainder and then run this script we see 1 in the console okay if I was to make this something like 18 we now see 4 in the console okay now this means that we're able to limit the range of this number from 0 up until this number minus 1 okay so essentially you're able to reduce this large number up to a maximum size of this number minus 1. If I was to make this 20, we see 6 in the console. If I make this one more higher, 21, we see 0. So we're able to limit the range. And this is quite useful when trying to resolve a large number into a consistent result. So for example, let's just say, I'll get rid of all this, and let's just say you have a bunch of names. For example, something like Dom, Mary, and then John, okay? Now, let's say I want Dom to give me a color of green, and then Mary and John to both give me a color of blue. So a name with three letters I want to resolve to green, a name of four letters I want to resolve to blue. Okay, we can do this using the remainder operator. Let's make a new function and call this one get color. This will accept a name as a parameter or an argument. So now I'm going to use the remainder operator to limit the, um, the result to only a specified amount of options. These options will be colors. So Let's make a new constant and call this one colors equal to an array of colors. For example, let's say um, green and then red and then blue. So three colors right there. Now we're going to get the length of the name and then use the remainder operator and we're going to um, divide it by the length of the colors in this case three. So let's just make a new constant and call this one index. This will be equal to, as I said, the length of um, this string. So name.length, remainder operator, and then colors.length. Okay? And then I'm going to return colors at that index. Okay? So now, if I was to say uh, console.log, get color, and pass in DOM into here, let's see how we go. Let's run this script, and we get green. Okay? This is because 3, so 3 will be the length of the name, so 1, 2, 3. 3, remainder 3, 1, 2, 3, is 0. So access color that index zero. If I was to make this name John, the remainder or the index is now one, meaning use the color of red. Let's run this one and we get red right there. So you can see with different names, we are getting different colors, but the idea is you're having consistent results based on the length of the name while still being kind of random. So it can be useful there. The main use of this operator for me is to actually limit the range of the, um, of the outcome. You can have a number of 
you can have 3 million or something and you can still get a number smaller than 6 for example. So it's, it's all about condensing a large number into a small number. All right. And that's how you can use the remainder operator in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.